Hi guys and welcome to Style with Substance and welcome to my apartment in my car tour. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you all around um, my baby um, and just giving you a bit of an insight as to what I keep in my car. So if you like the sound of that, please give it to the car keys as you'll have seen. Um, and this is how you unlock it. So you press the button right at the top and in we go. This is my car. It is a black BMW 1 Series. It's the M Sport model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you guys down to the passenger seat and you can see it from that perspective. Um, so right, so now you're inside with me. Um, so if I'm driving, I'm obviously sat here. Um, so the steering wheel looks like your standard steering wheel. It's got the BMW logo on it there. Um, and it's also got um, some controls here. So you've got the volume controls there. Um, you've got the telephone controls here as well. And then you've got some other bits and bobs that I don't really use on this side. I suspect that over here is cruise control and things like that. Um, then here you've got the um, the light stalk, as I like to call it. I don't think that's the technical terminology, but here you can kind of flash the lights um, and put on the fog lights as well. Um, and you've also got the windscreen wiper um, controls and fluid as well on there. Um, down here you've got the um, lights, so you can have them on automatic, so they just adjust to the light whenever you're in the car, or you can have them on the zero setting, which is basically just having them off, uh, and then the fog lights there. Then you've got the start stop engine um, button, so basically um, this is an automatic model. Um, uh, I don't know if the manual, I'm pretty sure the manual models come with this as well, so but instead of putting a key in, you just press this button. Um, so I'll do that for you. And you've got to have your foot down on the brake pedal for that to, for the engine to actually start, otherwise it just starts the electrics up. So, get a nice purr going. Down here you've got the uh, brake pedal and the accelerator pedal, as it's an automatic, there's no clutch, so nothing to do down there. Um, and then when we move over here, uh, you've got the sat nav um, and you've also got, I guess you could call it the multimedia system. Um, so to get it, you press media and then it sort of brings you up to this main menu here. Um, so you can kind of scroll all the way down through those bits and bobs there. Um, I really only use this for radio uh, or for putting the sat nav in. Uh, so if I'm going somewhere, I'll just program the postcode in and do what I need to do. Here you've got some volume controls and then you've got some numbers here. So I've programmed all my favorite radio stations in. So they come kind of run from numbers one through six. And then number seven and eight are my favorite telephone numbers that I like to call. So I generally do my makeup in the car in the mornings. If we go back um, over here, um, you can see the, I would call it the gear stick, but essentially all it is is, um, all it's got is reverse, neutral and drive and park as well. So if you put your foot down on the brake pedal and then you pull it back, it will put it in drive or if you've got it in neutral or if you go forward, it will put it in reverse. And then down here, you've got media, radio, menu, telephone, nav, um, and this wheelie thing that you can use to navigate the screen up there. Um, obviously there you've got your hazard lights, you've got the locking mechanism, you've got your heaters. Um, down here you've got more heating controls as well, an AC, um, and that's pretty much it. And then if you go over here, you've got your um, brake, so obviously push it down or up. Um, and then in here, um, you've got your AUX lead, so I plug my phone into here if I want to sort of play music and stuff. Um, and there's also a slot for charging um, iPhones or some other USB device. <laughs> Obviously, you've got your standard um, mirrors um, for checking your makeup <laughs> and then the rear view mirror for checking what's going on behind you. You've got your mirrors either side as well, which can be adjusted using this button here. So if I slide this thing to the right, then it's looking at the right window. So. I can just play with the controls there, move them back, move them up, move them down. And then if I move it that way, it does the other ones. And then you've got the window controls here. Um, and then you've got this kind of um, stainless steel effect, I'm gonna call it, um, handles, just to open the door like that. Um, and then some drinks holders down there. These two over here are also drinks holders, but basically I use them for makeup and Mr. Man will maybe have some water in there. Um, and we've got some air freshener there, uh, which is new because um, we recently had the car washed.
the car. Um, naturally, I rarely ever sit here because I'm always in the driver's seat, which is directly in front of me. Um, but it's pretty spacious out here in the back. Um, obviously, I've pushed the seats like way far forward, so the driver, um, even if it's me, would likely never be set that far forward. But it's a decent enough leg room, and I have quite long legs, so um, lots of room back here. Um, there's some heating controls um, or heating panels down here so that the people in the back can get the benefit of that and obviously um, you can fit three people back here although they say that but I always feel like the person in the middle can be quite uncomfortable um, just because they've got their legs sort of either side of this thing here but yeah um, and obviously you've got your seat belts in the front here um, which I didn't show you in the in the driver's seat but obviously the driver's seat also has seat belts plug them in as so safety first um wait to hear the click i was putting it in the wrong thing clearly um and then you've got window controls back here as well so those would normally come on if the engine was on um and obviously the door locks there some headrests there which rarely ever move because generally the people i have here aren't too fast but you can kind of swivel them up if you like um and that's pretty much the back um whoever it's normally my siblings sat back here or friends or whoever i'm kind of traveling with at the time and if not then it's just my trusty bag <laughs> um so yeah that's the back of the car so now we've done the back of the car let's take you to the booth Now we're back to the boot of the car, um, which opens like so. Um, you can use that to sort of bring it back down again. Um, but it's a standard boot. Um, if I open it here, you can see all the engine stuff that us girls don't really know too much about. Um, and then over here, we've also got a first aid kit, just in case anybody runs into any trouble. Here, you can also Pull this, push the seats down. Obviously, you'd have to move this first. But yeah, it's pretty spacious. Um, I'm pretty sure I fit right in it. But, um, it's a pretty good size. So that, folks, is my car, and that is what I keep in it. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna head off now. Um, you guys can come along with me for the journey. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, post a video response and let me know what you guys keep in your cars. Um, but aside from that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!